How's it going? I'm Rob Reap with Celine River Chronicle. Warren's Lady Jacks have had the busiest week I can remember of almost any team since I've been covering Warren sports over the last decade. Uh, the ladies played their fifth game in six days Saturday on the road at Crossit. We've got a few highlights. Let's get to them. We jump to the third quarter, Warren up 2015. Jacks break the press. Tessa Andrus with the bucket, Warren up 22 to 17. Keller Bigham, already with 10 points from the second quarter, makes a nice move inside and grabs her 12th point of the night. A couple of possessions later, Bigham to Mahia Payne, back to Bigham. She gets it to fall. Warren is cruising. A little later in the third, Tessa Andrus again banks it in, draws the foul. A lane violation would keep her from getting a chance at the free throw. After a timeout off the inbounds, it's Bigham again, this time off the pivot, gets the shot to fall. That's her 16th of the night. She's not done a minute or so later. It's Mylesha Yao pass in to Bigham. She backs in, spins, can't get the shot to fall, but she draws the foul. Keller would step up and convert both free throws. Late in the third, Bigham wide open inside, banks it in. That's 20 points on the night for KB. Her 19th game of the season in double figures. What a season she's had. To the fourth we go, Mahia Payne knocks her second bucket of the night in. Payne added another just before time expired as the Lady Jacks get the win on the road at Crossit by the final of 40 to 28. If you enjoyed these highlights and want to see more, please leave a comment below and give us a like at facebook.com slash Celine River Chronicle.